So as the grandson of a reverend, the son of a deacon, the brother of a praise and worship leader, I understand right now in 2024, the importance of leveraging social media when it comes to churches, when it comes to uh, religious institutions. I understand the importance of leveraging social media to be able to reach more people and spread the word. You know, as a guy who grew up in church all the, all the way up until the age of 20, I understand the importance of it. And that's the reason as to why uh, when I came across this tool, I knew that I had to film a video about it. I literally went straight to my phone Phone and I sent this tool to my dad, to my sister, in our WhatsApp group, letting them know that this is a tool that it is that they should be leveraging. So without further ado, let's jump into my laptop and I wanna show you guys this tool. All right guys, so the tool that it is that I'm speaking about is a tool called Church Loom. Just so that you guys know, I will leave a link in the description uh, below this video to this tool so you can access it. Um, and what Church Loom is, as you can see right here, creating content for your church should be easy peasy. And genuinely guys, when you see me, you know, walk you guys through this tool, you're gonna see that it really, really is easy leveraging a tool like this. So the concept behind it is really, really simple. You upload your content to the platform and then allow it to do its thing. And then it gives you a quick turnaround and it literally throws out a bunch of content ready for you to be able to dive in and to be able to um, start turning it into social media content. So let me show you guys the pricing. So as you can see, the pricing model is really, really simple. Um, you can simply just go ahead and pay $9 a month if that's what you wanna do. Um, maybe you don't wanna go for the lifetime deal, but personally, I think it just makes more sense to go for the lifetime deal. Um, why? Because it's $99 one time and you get unlimited access to absolutely everything and there's no monthly fees. Uh, as opposed to the monthly plan, you know, pay $9 a month and yes, you get all of this stuff you can see here. Um, but, you know, I just think it makes sense. Pay the lifetime deal and you're done and you're dusted. Don't have to worry about it again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to show you guys exactly how the tool works because it really is simple and it really, really is straightforward. All right. So let's jump in. Okay, perfect. So uh, this is basically the dashboard that it is that you can see here. Now, what you can simply do uh, first and foremost is you upload the sermon that it is that you've got and you're gonna upload it into uh, Church Loom. Now, as you can see right up here across the, right, uh, across the top of the screen, you can basically see this is the audio of the actual sermon itself. So I can play it in here if, if you need me to. Well, happy Easter. Good to see everyone in the room. If you're in the lakeside room, the family room, if you're joining us online, maybe it's a little later in the week, you had to work on Easter. Okay, so you can see the audio that's in there. You can skip it across if you need to, no problem. Play it from there, that's no problem. You can mute it, unmute it, click the three dots. You can download the audio again and you can change the place, uh, playback speed as well. But what's now happened, and this is where the game changer is with Church Loom, what you can now do is this. You've got, as you can see, across the top, you can see a few different buttons. Now, I'm gonna take you through all of these buttons one by one, and I'm gonna show you how it is that you can start to leverage these. So the first thing that it's gonna do is it's going to give you a summary of uh, the actual um, sermon that it is that's uploaded. Now, how can you leverage this? Now, if you're an individual that you put your content online, whether you put it on YouTube or you may put it on your website and you may host it on there, uh, what you can simply do is you can upload it to here and then this summary that it is that Church Loom spits out, you can take that summary and that can be the description underneath your YouTube video or this can be the description that you put on your website just to let people know uh, a little bit about the uh, sermon that it is that's being preached. Okay, that's a way that it is that you could leverage this or you could even just use it. Um, even if you're going to attach the YouTube video, you're probably going to put it on Facebook or something. You can literally have this summary just above it, just so that people know what to expect uh, throughout the sermon. If you come across to outline, you can basically just see all that's gonna happen here is you're basically just going to have it broken down into sections. And as you can see at the bottom here, it shows you the YouTube chapters and then it shows you the minutes as well. So you can leverage that for YouTube itself to create chapters within your video um, on the YouTube platform. Or you can literally just have an outline, have it underneath a video that's hosted on your website or anything like that, just so that people can skip to different parts if that it is something that they wanted to do. Okay, now the transcripts, this 
can be used for a number of different reasons. Maybe, like I said, you put your content on the YouTube platform and you want to put subtitles in your video. No problem. Come up here to the right, uh, top right hand side and you can download the uh, transcript in TXT file or in CSV. You can copy it and you can even click this button here and you can remove the time frame that it is that you can see just from a click of a button. So that's how you can utilize the transcripts, the transcript section. Now, socials, guys, this is where for me, it really starts to get really interesting now. So what it is that you can do with Church Loom is they're going to take basically uh, quotes from the actual content itself and they're going to basically put it into quote boxes for you. Now, two things that you can do here. Number one, you can literally have these as they are. OK, you can have these as they are and you can run these and put these on your social platforms, okay? Now, if you haven't got the most experience, no problem, this will work perfectly well for you. No problem, put it up and just see how it goes, okay? But what you can do if you wanna be a bit more innovative and you wanna make it a bit more personalized to your church in particular, what you can do is this, you can come up here and you can either click this button where you can copy the text to your clipboard or you can click this button here and I'll show you what this button does. And there you guys can see right there, simply just by clicking one button, you can actually download that quote to your actual laptop and you've literally got something that's ready to go and you can literally just go ahead and upload it as well. Now, something that it is that you can do if you, if you see the buttons across the top is you can change the background. So if I click uh, this bluish type color, it changes the background of all of them to blue. If I was to click like the yellowish type, it changes the color to the yellow, pink, and it changes it as well. And then whatever color that it is that you choose, when you click the download button, it will download it in that color as well. But this is how you can take it a step further if you're gonna be a bit more smarter and make it more personalized. You can copy it to clipboard and you can go across to a platform like a Canva. And then literally if you type in quote post, you can then copy and paste the actual quotes into a platform like Canva that have got some really, really nice backgrounds or you can put, you know, pictures from your actual church um, as the background and then you can utilize these quotes and then you can start to then put them out on social media. Like if you take a look at this, guys, one, two, three, four, this is five posts. If you're posting every other day, perfect. You can literally just leverage something like this um, and this is going to be enough posts for you for the week, okay? If we go back up across again uh, and we click quotes, very similar to what it is that I just spoke about with the socials, you can do the exact same thing, okay? You can download it, you can copy it to clipboard, go across the Canva, do it that way. Guys, it really, really can be done and this is how powerful, genuinely, in my opinion, this tool is. Hey guys, really, really quick, if you are a content creator, a online marketer or a online business owner and you wanna keep up to date with the best online tools, softwares that it is that's coming out on a regular basis, I want you to click the link in the description below this video and I want you to consider joining my newsletter. I am always doing research, sitting down and finding the best tools, softwares and websites for creators, business owners and online marketers. And this is the way that it is that I'm communicating and letting you guys know about all the tools that it is that I'm finding. I can't do a video about everyone, but I can put it in my newsletter that I send out once a week, okay? Now, when you join my newsletter, I'm gonna shoot you over this spreadsheet just as a thank you that literally has all of the best the top tools in different categories literally on this spreadsheet okay click the link in the description below this video join my newsletter and i will keep you up to date with everything tools softwares and websites okay so now what we can do is we can literally have something put together purely for email blasts another good way if you're a church you definitely should be gathering people's email addresses. This is how you can stay in contact with them. This is how you can continue to communicate. And literally all you can do as a result um, of the sermon that it is that you've uploaded, you've got an email blast that's literally put together that you can send out, just copy, paste it into your email provider. I'll link an email provider in the, in the description below this video if you don't have one. It's called system.io, completely free of charge, up to I think like a thousand contacts. I'll link that in the description below this video um, and what you can do is you can send this out this email out and all you simply could do attach the video 
or attach the audio into that email and you can let the people know who are um, gonna be on the receiving end who are on the email list about the sermon as well. Another good thing, you can turn it into a blog post, okay? Now, I'll be honest, this is a, a quite short blog post, but you can leverage something like this, and then all you simply do, go in there as a human and just add some more meat to the bones, you know, make it a, make it something a bit more than what it is, it actually is at the moment, and you can simply do that just by, you know, uploading the sermon, and then you've got yourself a full email blast as well. If you come across again, you've got a discussion guide. Now, this is really, really good because a lot of churches, I know they have things like prior meeting, they have things like midweek meeting. What you guys can do is, let's say on a Sunday, that this, this is where the sermon's done. Well, come Wednesday or Thursday when you have prior meeting, you can literally get a discussion guide like this and then what you can do is you can discuss everything that was this that was preached in the sermon on the Sunday. So it's a really, really good way for you to be able to just come up with some notes, come up with some information that you can reflect over and you can discuss about and have some, you know, open discourse about what it is that was spoken about in the sermon. Daily devotionals. Now think about it like this, okay? This is where you can start to get really smart as a church. One of the things that it is that you can do is you can you know put together this daily devotional and then you know what you do send it to all the members of your church and then what you say to them is you say right look we've put together a five-day daily devotional for you you know what you do if you're smart get families to be sitting at home with their children get families to be sitting down and literally going over the words that you heard on Sunday, but going over it throughout the rest of the week. So every day, you're not just hearing on Sunday and then it's gone out of your head. I'm gonna be honest with you, that was that's what used to happen to me. I used to hear the information on Sunday, come Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it gone out of my head okay but if you're doing these daily devotionals probably the start of your day or maybe towards the end of your day guess what you're reflecting on the information and everything that you learned on sunday is sticking into your head a lot more okay now i go across again and we can see kids version and i'll be honest this is really important in my opinion i've got four daughters they sometimes go to church with their nan sometimes go to church uh with my mom and dad their, their grandparents as well and I sometimes think a lot of churches miss a trick because they have young children sitting in full-blown sermons and the children don't have a clue what is going on. They don't have a clue, okay? But you can leverage this and then you can break it down in a way so that the children can understand exactly what was being spoken about, okay? Now, this is a really, really good tool, um, a really, really good aspect of this tool, okay? Move forward questions answered and it's another good thing you know once again if you're having prime meeting midweek ask questions get answers reflect see who was listening on sunday you'd probably be surprised by some of the answers okay but this is just really really good stuff to, stuff to be able to just continue a conversation that it is that people can have yeah and I, and I really really think this tool it's so simple and it's so cheap but it makes the it makes the idea of content creation for churches a lot more simple and a lot more straightforward. Now, historical content, we'll click on that. Um, this is simply just going to give you a bit of historical context about Luke 24, because uh, that's basically what it is that the, he's speaking about in this sermon. But guys, the reason as to why this can be really good is just to give a bit of context. Maybe somebody heard something in the sermon and that word really resonated with them and they wanna dig a bit deeper into the word, no problem. You can look at something like this, the historical context, and it's gonna give you a bit more information about it as well. Now, if we come back across to uh, the left-hand side where it says custom, what you can simply do is you can actually put in a prompt yourself um, and you can actually have some prompts and have them saved, okay? Now, if we come across here, um, I want to put uh, I, I want to put a, a, a prompt in, and I'm going to ask the system, can you give me the ten most important points made in this sermon? Okay, I'm going to do this, and let's see what it comes back with. Can you give me the ten most important points made in this sermon? 10 important points from Pastor Jack Easter sermon, celebration of Easter. I mean, guys, look at that, man. Honestly, that's really, really, really good. 
you know, if I come back and I, I want to try another one, let me just try this. Give me 20 powerful quotes from this sermon. And guys, look at that. 20 powerful quotes from this sermon. And it's literally 20. And they are genuinely all from the sermon. I mean, yeah, guys, this is really a simple tool, but I'll be honest, I really think it's quite powerful. You know, if you handle the social media or the marketing for your church, I definitely think that you should leverage a tool like this because it's going to be so much more simpler for you than having to consistently listen through the content and pick out the best quotes and whatnot. That's going to be a very, very long process. Okay. You can literally leverage something like this and through you leveraging this, you can leverage the power of AI and it's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. Okay guys. So if you want to try out church loom, I'm going to leave a link in the description below this video, go ahead and try it out and let me know your thoughts about church loom in the comment section below this video. Okay. But guys, once again, if you appreciate content, that's all based around tools, softwares and websites all for creators i want you to make sure you go below subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up and also let me know your thoughts in the comment section below this video but guys according to youtube they believe that you will like this video right here